just a few minutes ago, an email dropped into my inbox and I figured this deserved some attention and a quick video to go with it. Um, they are launching a Vota version of their steering wheel for the Logitech G Pro. Um, now, don't jump the gun, it's not out yet. I'll drop the link in the description so you can kind of see this page as well, this preview page. Um, so it's not out yet, but they are working on it. It looks like they've completed the product and maybe they're doing some refinements. Uh, if we go down the page here, you can see it is uh, clearly mounted to a Logitech G Pro. Um, and more interestingly, actually, is it also allows it to still be a PlayStation and Xbox compatible, which I thought was quite fascinating. So I'm not sure how they manage that. Uh, from my understanding, the compatibility is actually in the steering wheel, um, you know, for this wheelbase. So the the PC, uh, the not the PC, the PlayStation and Xbox compatibility is sort of like chipped into the, the actual steering wheel itself. So I'm not sure how they manage that, but that's something they seemingly have made. So maybe it's going to be a single steering wheel that's going to be both PlayStation and Xbox compatible with a switch on it. Who knows? I don't know. Um, you know, the, the information on this page is pretty uh, basic, but obviously you could contact them and find out more if you're uh, interested in this. Um, looking further down the page, we have the quick release here. Um, and it does potentially look like it's 3D printed, which maybe I'm not so keen on. Um, there's a sort of a clamp around the quick release, which indicates could be um, something where it's 3D printed, 3D wrapped, do 3D printing. So that is certainly possible. Or maybe this is just a uh, just a sort of early version prototype to you know get this running. Possibly, who knows? Uh, but it's looking like it's coming fairly soon. I expect. Um, I expect they've got the you know the technology working. Maybe it's just basically getting the uh, fixings right for the quick release and getting that sort of tied down. The Vota steering wheel I have, um, something I've reviewed previously. Um, I'll drop a link below the video for that so you can check that out because it is a really, really nice steering wheel. Um, that's for a direct drive wheelbase. That's what my one's set up for with a, an external cable USB to your PC. But this one goes directly through the steering wheel column. So all the buttons um, and the lights will all be powered through the um, from the wheelbase and of course just be compatible that way. So it's going to be a proper, you know, add-on wheel rather than like a you know a, a funky kind of third party one where you still need to run it via usb this looks like it does the uh, you know does the whole thing uh, with the um logitech g pro wheelbase it does need to have a wheel attached to it one that gets recognized um it's kind of like fanatec it's it's that sort of like technology where if it doesn't have a wheel attached it just simply won't work so it has to be you know their brand of wheelbase a uh, wheel to the wheelbase um, so it looks like they've been able to find a way to circumvent that and they've got that working. So that's all looking very good. Um, but there you go. Also this year, I guess on other news worth mentioning, if you are interested in this, is uh, MV8 Studios are also working on their own adapter uh, for their GT, um, GTS and F1L uh, Series 2 wheels. Um, I've also heard that uh, from a couple of sources that um, Logitech are looking to release their own um, add-on wheels this year some extra design so that could be something that's interesting as well so yeah it's all kicking off for this wheelbase this year and um, I know a lot of people have been you know been wanting and kind of really shouting loud to try and get extra um, accessories for this wheelbase since at the moment you just got that stock one that you know you get with it which is okay but you know it's nothing too fancy and people do want this sort of stuff so it's looking good it may make the wheelbase a little bit more interesting for people. Um, I've also reviewed the Logitech G Pro on the channel before. Exceptional force feedback. You will not get better force feedback. So check out my review for that if you haven't seen my review or don't know anything about this wheelbase and its capabilities because it is a really, really good wheelbase. Um, so yeah, nice, nice wheelbase and uh, only lacking some wheels, but it looks like it's all coming this year. So uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, drop comments below the video. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, happy swimming, and bye-bye for now.